You may remember last year when I covered the Leeds Central Station and the viaduct that came out out of Leeds. But we're here today to check out what I spotted in the video was an urban garden that they're building on top of the former viaduct. And here we are. So as you can see, they've got a lovely little staircase up to the viaduct now and also a lift. Anyway, let's make our way up the stairs. I've been dying to check this out since I heard that it had opened a couple of days ago. Yeah, it's open to access by members of the public. You just come in to this car park here, just off Whitehall Road, and head up the stairs. It's that easy. You can just see behind me the River Air right there. And then just behind me there, through that gap, would have been the viaduct as it continued into Leeds Central. And you can see the abutment right there, where they've cut it off years ago. Anyway. We're nearly at the top, so I'm going to turn you around and show you me heading up. There we go, we get a slightly better view up here. Here's the edge of the viaduct and the river air. And there's the car park that you enter it through. Well, let's head up the stairs, we're almost there. Now I am told it's not completely finished just yet, as you can see down the end there. But here we are, on top of the viaduct. Now this is really nice and there's the lift up to the top there and a lovely flooring, lots of flowers I'm sure in summer but look at this, like an old signalman's hut or something you still see some of the old cabling there, the old wiring and I'm told as well there is an old semaphore signal up here somewhere yeah that is definitely an original building of some sort and there's another one on the opposite side as well right there I've got a feeling they're gonna put lighting features in these because there's a cable pipe coming up there so who knows yeah it's got lovely railings down the side but you can still see the original stonework here there you go nice design on this and there's the river air yeah, this would have been a through viaduct, as you can see, if I line it up there. And Leeds Central was somewhere beyond that red building in the distance as it headed into Leeds from the Holbeck High and Low Level stations, which were at the other end of this, which I will cover. I'm yet to do those. I've done every other station in Leeds apart from the Holbeck High and Low Levels down there, which I will do very shortly. Yeah, look at this. Reminds me of the one in Manchester that they've just done on the Castlefield viaduct. This one's a bit more uh, open because we don't have the viaduct going over the top of it. Again, another little uh, refuge there, I'll call it. You can see some of the old cables down the wall there. They're using them today for this uh, box here. You can see the old hooks on the wall where the cables go down. And again, the different brickwork and stonework which would have been different sections of this viaduct. I believe as well there will be another access down here when this new development opens soon. There will be another access there, I'll show you in a minute. Again another building there. Yeah this as far as I'm aware is as far as we can go today but like I said it will continue beyond this right through this development and you'll be able to access it. And a little look down there, the Leeds Liverpool Canal. As you can see, you can see the locks just through there. Yeah, this is going to be good actually. And I must admit, as much as I'm not a fan of all these plastic blocks that appear in cities these days, I don't mind the white one, that looks pretty uh, decent, but a lot of these ones are pretty vulgar. And uh, But I must admit, if they're going to incorporate historic features in the area rather than just demolishing them, I'm all for it. If it means keeping them right here, why not? Especially as it is definitely a nod back to the history. There's the other entrance. It's currently closed. Like I said, it will be open soon, I'm sure. But you can see there's another lift there. So yeah, they're spending some decent money on this, which is good to see. It's not just a 
cheap pop-up. Again, you can see the original truck bed there. They haven't quite got to this section yet. That's not railway ballast down there. That's uh, just underlay for the nice flooring down here. Yeah, that it's just a short section down to there. But like I said, it will extend. So let's go down here and see if there's anything else further down. And as we head out the other side, again, still a building site. You can see that they're actually restoring the old wall down here. They've got some new blocks just through there where they've actually repaired the wall. But it's quite a long viaduct this and it still stands, not like the uh, bottom section that's completely gone. But I believe they're going to have different sections on here as well, like different parts to it, which is good to see. So like this section here, you can see it's all paved rather than the temporary, or say temporary floor in this uh, rendering. But it's a nice stone block area, so I'm sure there'll be benches up here, and I'm told maybe even a cafe. Who knows? But it's all for these new residential blocks here. But anybody can access it, which is good to see. It's not just for residents only. Let's make our way a bit further down. And again, another entrance down here. This one's definitely a more modern feature with a canopy over it, which I'm sure is gonna hold some glass panels on the top. Let's just have a quick look down there. You can see where the viaduct splits here. So you've got the viaduct there on the left and then on the right here. So this is where it would have hit the junction or the triangle as I'm gonna call it. But it headed into the Holbeck High and Low Level Station which was just beyond this building here. And it started to split here. Just a slightly better view of those uh, arches down there. Just used for storage currently. Probably gonna be parking or something. Maybe even a walkway through. And a little bridge just here. Bridging the two viaducts. And again, like I said, another access there with a lift. Great to see. And then we'll get a better shot of this one from here. But it's even called this building here, the Exchange and the Junction. As you can see on the uh, glass there, the Exchange. There's a better shot of those arches there in the viaduct. And the old uh, curved wall there as they've uh, strengthened it now with concrete blocks inside. Yeah, this is so nice to see. I'm really impressed with this, I must admit. It's a lot bigger than what I thought it was. Let's have a look down the other side. It's exactly the same on this side. Like I said, I'm so up for new developments if they incorporate history. Just have a look into that stonework there. I'm just going to zoom in if I can. You can see the various layers of rock and stone and mortar from a couple of hundred years ago, or at least 150 years ago. So they basically gouged out the middle of it and they're strengthening the outer walls now. And another one of those little uh, refuges, I'm gonna call them, right there. That is amazing. Yeah, I'm all for this. If they're gonna uh, incorporate old features. Another look across that little bridge there between the two viaducts. And then down there, there's some kind of a caged Court. It looks like a, a basketball court maybe, or a small tennis court. Again, nice to see that they're using the viaduct for something. So it looks like it's going to be a bit of a recreation area up here. Probably lots of outdoor sports, seating, maybe even a little cafe. I was just wandering around thinking, where's the old semaphore signal? I've not seen it yet. And I've just spotted it, it's right here. And it's, it's quite cleverly disguised because it's made of wood and it blends in with the building. So let's take a look at that. I actually walked past it, I completely missed it. There you go, look. Still intact. All those years later. Nice to see again, they're keeping it there. They haven't just ripped it out. Yeah, that would have housed some signals as it headed along the viaduct into Leeds. Yeah, that's amazing. I was told it was here. Yeah, I've got to say, I'm really impressed at what we'll do. Maybe come back during the summer and check it out when it's uh, really nice and the flowers are growing as well. But for now, I'm gonna keep heading back towards the end of it and then we'll wrap up the video. But I just wanted to show you what it looked like because I've just had a tip off that it was open. Thanks, James. And they said, uh, you can head up it, it's open to the public. So I just thought while I was in Leeds today, I'd just nip down quickly and have a look. 
It's just started to rain. Good timing that. Okay, we've reached the end and the lift. I just want to press the button and see if the lift's working. Oh, it is. You can hear it coming. So it does work. I'm going to be lazy and use the lift because it is raining now. Yeah, nice modern lift here, nice new. <laughs> what you'd expect to see on a railway viaduct, I must say. Yeah, that's uh, such a nice little uh, thing to do, a nice little feature. So if you want to check it out, it's, like I said, it's just off Whitehall Road in Leeds and you just head through the car park and you'll see the big red staircase. I think we're going to go out this way now. There we go. I'm impressed with that. Yeah, as you can see, the big red staircase right there. And if you can't walk it, there's a lift. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little update video. I just wanted to show you what it looked like and have a quick pop up the viaduct. But I'm really impressed with it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.